Our common council president, Joe Cabo. If there's anything going on in Danbury, Joe has his finger on the pulse. That is true. He knows what's going on. And he's on the phone with us right now. So what's what's the story with this castle, Joe? Well, what's happening is we're going to be asking the voters in November. It'll be a separate question on the ballot for a bond issue. Part of that bond issue is going to be the um, recommended solution to the castle, long-term solution to the castle. And um, the castle's in horrible shape. And, I mean, really, there is no castle there. It's, a, it's standing walls. Mm. Um, the entire contents of the interior has fell in to the basement. The structure is dangerous. So is there any chance for, like, renovating it? You know, Liz, it, the, the numbers are all over the place. Some people say $15 million, Some people say $20 million oh, wow. to renovate the building. So, so the question you have to ask yourself is, after you renovate, what do you, what do, you do with it? What does it become? Becomes Joe Cavo's new home. That's what it becomes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, so, you know, even if you were to say, okay, look, let's um, rent it out as a restaurant or let's rent it out as a wedding venue. Right. Or you would never, ever be able to recoup that money. I can't look at people who are sending their kids to school and say, I'm going to spend $20 million to renovate a building that, you know, really has no use. Right. And, um, would never, it never recoup its money. 